What's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. This is another dollar store teacher challenge. Okay, so, so I've been out of the classroom for, for a few years and I'm kind of at a loop on a lot of things, but one of the things that I keep seeing pop up on people's feeds are something called desk pets. I, I've never experienced these before, but I keep seeing people share these ideas of little trinkets and items and pets to give to students on their desk, which, great, maybe you're using it for rewards, maybe it's just a fun thing, maybe you're making a learning, engaging with those, whatever it may be, I decided to jump on that bandwagon, but I found a new idea to make desk pets a little bit more interactive for your students, and I found everything that I need for this at Dollar Tree in the toy section. So if you're wondering what that might be, I absolutely love Legos. Well, Dollar Tree sells an off-brand of Legos called Make it blocks, make it blocks. They look like this. So I thought, what better way to make desk pets interactive and fun than using something like Lego. So for two bucks, for two bucks. Now this is gonna cost you more for an entire class, but I'm asking, telling you, ask for donations of this kind of stuff. Ask for donations. What you're gonna need to do is get one of the, actually not even one of these. Let's see, let's try something here. I was gonna say one of these for each of your students, but hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Alright, so there you go. You don't need one of those for each of your students. I just got, sorry, it's out of focus here. It's a little too bright today. That's better. Alright, so you don't need one of these for each of your students because I just got seven little pieces of this out of one strip. So for a dollar, you can get seven of these little things that are, that are sticky Lego tracks. Now, the point of this is, this is what you're going to stick on the student's desk. You're going to peel this little backing off and that's what you're gonna to stick to the student's desk. So now you've got the little sticky piece on each of your student's desks and that's what they're gonna to use to collect or build their desk pet. But for desk pets, I'm using dollar boxes of two make it blocks, not Legos, I don't wanna get sued here, make it block figurines. So two of these for a buck. So there you go, you can either buy these, ask for donations, maybe just Lego donations as well of parents that are getting rid of stuff and cleaning out stuff. But these are, Hang on. These are Make It Block brand minifigures, right? The little minifigures like you see for, for Lego guys. The cool part about this is children could earn these as their desk pet, right? Maybe you have a whole box of different minifigures that you can use as desk pets. They can earn them, stick them on their piece, and they stay there for the week or however long it may be. The other cool part about this is you could use desk pets as a reward system towards something because you could give them a piece at a time for completing activities. So maybe for completing some type of skill, I can give them the leg portion, then the body portion, then the head portion, and then the hat or the hair or whatever it may be portion of that Lego, sorry, make it block figurine. Now, the other thing you could do with these, and this kind of depends on your restrictions, but these are all plastic, so they are wipeable with Clorox, Lysol, or other disinfectant wipes. You could turn this into a little thing where your kids can pick different pieces and then trade. So maybe they have their little minifigure or their, their desk pet, whatever you want to call it, on their table and uh, they want to trade with a friend and, and let them do that by wiping them off. So anyway, I think it's a great idea to use these as a reward incentive or just an incentive for some type of learning. Maybe they're going to write about their desk pet. Maybe you could just randomly go around and give them different minifigures. Like this guy is different than the one that I took apart. This is a pirate. This is a knight, so maybe they could write about the minifigure or desk pet that they got for the week. They could turn this into a spelling activity. They could try to spell it. Maybe they could name it. Maybe they could write a story about it. Write a sentence about the Lego minifigure. Sorry, make it block minifigure that you got for the week as your desk pet. Whatever it may be, the, the options are 
endless here. The options are endless for what you want to use these for, but I love the idea of using them for more than just a reward, right? Use them to practice writing, use them to build stories, use them to tell stories, use them as labeling. Maybe they could try to draw their desk pet figure and label the different parts of it as they write their story. I don't know, you guys are smart, you're amazing teachers, think like a teacher and do what you can with that. But I think they'd be so much fun. All right, let me know in the comments what you're using for desk pets. If you like this idea, any other ideas you have to use the little minifigures for desk pets, whatever it may be, tell me how you're using them and uh, we'll be back soon with another dollar store teacher challenge for all of you.